All right, let's start. All right, it's May 18th, 2023, it's a six scale. Please add yourself in this attendee, please. Okay, uh, let's start with the, looking at the performance job results. So Olay, we've got um, three. Okay, so we got the density one in, sweet, okay. Anything to note on this one? Um, yeah, so this, uh, lots of things. The okay. first thing is uh, the density job uh, PR is out. Uh, there were some changes needed to make sure that density job um, works well. Um, I've added it to the agenda. Um, it would be good to get that March. Uh, this particular graph is from March. Uh, actually, it's from February 2022. So more than a year's worth of data. Um, I've created two PRs uh, to add all of this historic data to the SIG benchmark, uh, benchmark repository that was newly created. Yeah. Uh, and we can, you know, store this information in a very public way. Mm. Let's see. So other things I've observed is there are a bunch of times when uh, this job was not working, which is reflected in the blank thing. But apart from that, the grouping has been very consistent. Um, if you scroll up, um, the very first chart is P95 creation to running. You can see in the last two weeks, we have been ki kind of seeing some spikes on, on there, uh, yeah. but okay. Uh, there was some interesting uh, observation. If you look at the SIG performance graph, those numbers have been going down actually on the same timeline. Oh, oh yeah. and one more thing, I have added both uh, P50 and P95. So we should be able to get an average as well as the worst case. Sounds good, okay. Yeah, so the worst case numbers for these have been going down, uh, but for the density clusters, they have been going up. So that was some um, weird uh, behavior. I'm not sure if it is related to the cluster version or the, the cubelet that runs this, but uh, that's an observation. I have uh, posted the PRs that that went in around the time when this number started going down. So this was May 7th, May 8th. Uh, yeah. So from, from these, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, that one I doubt. Uh, that could be the one that, that is saving us some. Uh, so my understanding is that uh, it that PR changes the way network is set up for VM. Uh, it uses a in-memory cache to set up network for VM. Mm -hmm. So that could be, yeah. The okay. only... I was hoping somebody from Cubeboard community would attend today and we can ask questions like, does this affect the end-to-end -end tests or, or things like that? But um, I think we can raise that question in the PR. Yeah. Um, thanks. So um, yeah, like uh, maybe we can um, do this. Uh, I want to see if uh, let's see. So we should have this is so this is where is it? So this is the it's the periodic that you're getting this right. Uh, yeah, this is from the periodic. So okay, um, <clears throat> I was wondering if we okay here we go. If we can see on here the same numbers. Uh, so like, looks like the P95, it's these ones that are lowering at these 19 and a half. 
I wonder if we can see that appearing here. So, um, oh yeah, there's a minty and half right there. Okay. Uh, 199 on this one, on the P99. Wow. Which is our, oh no, that's not our low. Okay, so it looks like 15. That's what our, oh, sorry, yeah, no, 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 this is 50. Yeah, yeah, that's 50. Okay, so 15. Yeah, so it is our low. Uh, it's hitting um, the lower bound for both of these. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, um, okay, well, I guess you, we'll see how this continues. Can really you? Just one more thing. Can you go back to sure. the uh, the end to end test? Yeah. If you scroll all the way up, uh, you should be able to find a link that says job history. Yeah, the first one. Okay. So I wonder if we can find a, a job prior to this and see if it was lower or higher than 19. Five, nine, okay. Okay, so Lonus is right here. So let's, let's look at this one. Nine, hold on, wait, is it my in? I don't know if this is your lines. I don't know, maybe it's, so that's the first one. First one. Yeah. Oh, okay, now here we go. So yeah, here we go, 29. Yeah, so this is a 29. Interest, yeah, look at that. So I don't know, we can do this with another one for two. So let's look at this one. Yeah, we should um, see if we can do this again. So if we can get two for two here. Oh, I passed it, okay. Okay, 32. <laughs> Interesting, okay. And um, so in your chart, you've got, um, so it looks like, uh, okay, so we're hitting a lot more of these 19. So we're hitting fewer of these, these um, looks like 28s. Yeah, after the okay. PR, yes. Interesting, okay. Maybe there's, um, so maybe what we can do is like, I, yeah, I mean, so start a thread on the on the PR, you know, let's, let's post our observation. I mean, you can post this chart. I mean, I... <laughs> I think it might be valuable just to see like, hey, your PR was like right here. Uh, no, it was like May 8th. It was, um, yeah, it's like right here. And and it, it is, we're starting to see a better P95. Do you think that it, you know, maybe it's associated with your change? Do you think, I don't know, get their thoughts to see what Alona says. I mean, I don't know. Maybe she wasn't thinking about performance when she went through this. But it would be good to identify this for a lot of reasons. I mean, maybe we have, maybe we can understand exactly what the performance change is. Like maybe something we don't know. Maybe something we can look at doing in other parts of the code, whatever it is that she was doing here. Sure. Okay. All right. Do you want to start that thread? Just like kick it off. Maybe post some charts and we'll see what she says. Maybe she's got some insight. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. I'll make a note of it. So. Um, that's, that's cool. All right, so we see on, um,
cool. Okay. Uh, anything else interesting you noticed? Uh, any other? Well, so back to the uh, the change that we were saying, or the increase in the. I wonder if this is just kind of within the normal behavior. Like I'm looking over here, and we see like it kind of goes up and down a little bit. Maybe we. Um, maybe this is. Um, all yeah, this is also a different version of Kubernetes. I mean, maybe we need to let this play out a little bit, sort of within our bound or lower and upper limit, where we're kind of less than sixty about and greater than fifty. It's like yeah, greater than fifty, less than sixty. We're still within there. Yeah, fifty six and forty nine. We're still right around. Let's see what this plays out. If this kind of continues to go up, or maybe it comes back down. Sure. Um, just for my understanding, what? version of Kubernetes do we run in the density cluster? I forget. I think it's like, oh, it's, so it's 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 OpenShift, but it's, um, this is the, this is the installation, but it's, um, I thought it was one, 124 I see. or 125 or something. Yeah. Yeah. I don't and remember. I, I had to look it up. And I, um, I know for, for the, uh, SIG performance periodic job, uh, we install a new, new Kubernetes cluster and it runs on there. For the density cluster, it's just this standalone cluster and we run uh, VMs after every, um, every day, right? Yeah, it's just standalone. So no, nothing, no one uses it but, but us. Got it. Okay, so we're not creating a cluster in cluster kind of. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. It's just a, it's right. It's just that it's a deployed cluster. We just create and delete all day. We don't do any deployment. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, I just wanted to understand the hardware so um, we can compare uh, better both the results now that we have it. Yeah. So, um, well, I mean, the thing that I went. The thing that I actually wanted to get to with these P95s, and you can like this is um, <clears throat> so 49, and what do we have for um, yeah, so it's higher, right? It's it's we're we're getting higher numbers, and that's like we are creating more. We are creating more uh, VMIs. I don't know that could affect it. I mean, there's still yeah, I mean, it's something we will have to get into to decipher the differences. Yeah. So I have a couple of suggestions from what I have observed. Um, so the SIG performance test, we just run one test every day. Um, what I have observed is that, sorry, the density job, we run one test every day. The performance, we run three tests every day. The three days test gives a little bit better signal if there is a flake or, or something. Um, and usually that helps me better. So one of the suggestions I was thinking was, can we change this density job to run three times a day? I think that will improve the signal we get off this cluster. Sure. Um... Should this be an easy proud chain? Just yeah. one little switch and proud should do it. And uh, one more action item for me is to add a P50 creation to running uh, for the density as well. Okay. <clears throat> okay, sounds good. This is all really good progress. So now we've got some other things that you've made progress on too. We've got the repo and everything. Do you want to talk about that? So where are we with, um, uh, I, I'm just not caught up. So like, where are we with, uh, we've got the repo yeah. created that I think we need. And then, and, uh, and where, where are we with some of the other changes you've been working on? Or actually, no, we have it right here, right? Oh, so here we go. We, we got it here. Yeah. 
I have put it in the agenda. If you click the first link, which is issue for the project, everything is summarized there. Actually. Great. Yeah. So we have the repository. Um, we have a PR that's open that will scrape the result every week uh, and dump it into that repository going forward. But before that PR merges, I have seeded the, the repository with historic data. So if you go, I don't have a link handy. Oh yeah, it's in the agenda. If you go at the, the repository, you will see two open PRs. I mean, all of that is generated data, so it will be hard to go through. But um, if you can just verify the, the directory layout, that should be enough for us to get started. Okay. We can merge that. Um, so that's that will seed us with historic data, and then from there uh, we can you know merge that pro job to start collecting data every week going forward. So we would not have to do this manually. Okay. What are these? Um, what are these uh, numbers? What are these for that? What's Those are this? job IDs. Okay. Yeah, so they directly map to pro job ID, the one you see. So the directory structure is that daily results are in a folder called results. Uh, weekly results are in the weekly folder, and then they are separated by the job name. So the performance name and the density name, the, those should be two separate folders inside the results and weekly. And Within the daily results, you will see a job ID. Within the weekly results, you will see it separated by the metric. So how come in the how come for these it's the it's the job ID? What's the what's the number? Yeah, about? that's what I was saying. Within the daily results, it's separated by job ID. Uh, then we aggregate those all the jobs into weekly. And okay, so during a weekly, it's aggregated by the metric that we care for. So in this particular run, you will see all the metrics that, uh, that the job reports. So we have the data, but out of those, let's say the first five is the one we care about. You'll see only those in the weekly aggregation. Okay. So we are not actually losing data. In the future, if you want to compare, let's say, um, the last one, which we have not been aggregating it weekly, we can always go back and run the automation. Okay, so you see aggregate, I think. Mm -hmm. That's coming out to a bunch of zeros, I think I picked the wrong one. Yeah, you, you can pick the P95, that, that will be most. What did I pick? Oh, the update. That's why. Okay. All right. So, because I'm in the. Okay. So, the P95s in here as well. Just, oh, here it is. I, okay. Be my creation running second. Oops. This one. All right. So, now I should see some like. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. <clears throat> Got it. Okay. That makes sense to me. It sounds good. And one more thing. Um, the weekly directory will have uh, index.html. That's the one you see me linking over in our uh, agenda. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so okay, one yeah. thing, yeah, that's the one. <clears throat> so one thing that uh, we have not captured yet is how to make sure that that index.html is rendered in a web page the way I do it um, for my personal repository. We should have a similar start. We do the uh, same thing where we like we use the GitHub pages. We just need a script or something to update the index.html. Yeah, that's 
that's what maybe the job need. maybe proud can cause it call it or something maybe we just need to no, make github has github has a uh, automatic job for it um the oh no i mean like is, to to update the index html so are you, are you saying it already gets updated automatically uh, so when you merge a pr with index.html github will run a deployment job to automatically change the github pages to reflect okay. that pr merge the only thing that we might have to do is that github expects github pages to be in a specific format like uh, the way i have it is 6k dot uh, username dot io dot github dot io right so we will have to do this like ci performance benchmark dot kubevert dot uh, github dot io so we'll have to set up that repository and then it will be able to run this uh, automatic deployment oh so you're saying what you're saying is that we need a we need okay, we need another repo yeah just to render that uh, automatically okay so if you look at my uh, I think it's the fourth tab, right? It's my username dot github dot io slash six scale. I thought, I thought we could. I thought this was configurable in some way. I, Not that part. That were that would be kubevert dot github dot io, right? But the second, yeah, second, yeah, that part. That's the name of the repository. That right. We have. Yeah, that entire thing. So I just need to find out ways to do that for the benchmarks. Okay. Yeah. All right, this makes sense to me. Okay, cool. So I think I have approval for this repo. I think they added it for us. So let me see. Should be able to just do it. Looks fine. Oh, I'm not sending to GitHub. Okay, well, let me do it automatically here. Okay, so this one looks fine. And then um, the second one is, oh, okay, the rest of the, oh, no, that was the one I was just going to. Yeah, so I take created separate. Same thing, more historical yeah, data. Yeah, different okay. job, different job, yeah. Okay. Sounds good to me. Yeah, we can get those first. Okay, good. So that's, uh, okay, here's our C. Okay, now we've got, so here's our automation and this one, I think this was close, right? We needed to, do we need just uh, an approval on this or is he already giving an approval? Um. So right now, this job only sets us up for the SIG performance, which is not which is from the shared cluster. Uh, we, so if we want to do it for both shared and density, then we'll have, have to wait for the other PR to merge before this. Okay, which is the what other PR? The ones the, that were in the in the this in this repo? No, no, no. Uh, the one which is let me see. Scraping work from the density of this one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So Sorry. once this merges, we can. Uh, add, we can ask uh, Daniel to add that another command to even scrape the density job, and we should that should set us up. We can also do it in a okay. follow up PR. I'm not too <clears throat> on the order. Okay. Yeah, whatever is easier. All right, let me I'll, let me tag Luba on this one, and maybe we can just have him do a quick review. And if it's not anything he notices in a fun place, then maybe we can get this one merged quickly. Okay. Um, 
Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, so we've got you've merged this performance job. We've got the density job changes. We also okay the artifacts directory. Okay, so um, this one I think was okay. So also needs so working through the testing. Okay, all right, you got a bunch of them in progress. So it sounds like they're all moving along, and then. Um, Okay, this one too. Yeah, so this is setting up the owners just for the uh, perf report generator. I've added you and Lobo as the reviewers and approvers. It's a copy paste from Cubebot Cubebot. So okay. I don't anticipate any problems, but uh, it would be All right, good sounds to good. get blessings, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll get, let me get Lugo on these and to review these. And I think, um, I think we, we can get one or two views in today. They all look like they're making good progress. Okay, cool. All right, thanks, Alay. All right, anything else about this? This looks good. This is a lot of progress. Uh, so next steps, I think from here on, we need pro configuration in the new repository to uh, weekly aggregate and uh, post graphs. Um, it's all summarized in that issue. I think Daniel Daniel had this idea. We just need to follow up with Daniel and yeah, it's the bullet point two, two point two, yeah, two point two, two point three. Okay. Yeah, I think those two, if we can get Daniel to set up pro in SIG performance benchmark repository. Yeah. Then So I, I think so Lubo said he was gonna that's so way who the Daniel Daniel was the one who ended up doing it. Okay. I thought Lubo was gonna do it. So I guess maybe um maybe we can ask Daniel and if he's already Yeah, doing see that. that comment, uh, the second last comment. Yeah. yeah, Daniel had ideas on how to do this. Already, I think that sounds good to me. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we need help with the post in the job. Okay, so yeah. um, either Lubo or Daniel can help us. Okay. All right, sounds good. All right, I'll talk to Lubo and see and talk to Daniel as well and see where they can help. Okay, thanks, Soleil. Yeah, that's it. Okay, um, last thing then is just for the SIG scale, for the Kubernetes work. Um, so we already have a lot going on, but the, uh, the only thing I want to do is just make a little bit of progress on this. And I was hopefully, I'm gonna to try to do the, do some of this today. Um, I want to, I think what we need to do is, is, well, this is what we agreed to do, is we take the inventory of the existing performance related metrics. So. It sounds like we some of the things aren't actually totally known. I mean, we don't, I don't know all of them. I, mean, I actually don't know many of them, but it sounds like within the larger group, not, not all of them are known. So let, let me just take a quick look at what's there and just have, let's have a description of them. And that'll help us out and guide us as to like what, how we want to improve or um, change them anyway. So uh, that's the first step that I see. The second step is just to do a little design about like how we would want to look at metrics. And for one of the APIs, I think we just start with one of them. I think, I think your PVCs, excuse me. I think PVCs is the way to go to start. Yeah. To me, it seems simplest. Like we know there, I, like I know there are a few phases, like just attaching, <laughs> like we know there are a few phases. So I think it makes sense. Like let's, let's see, let's, I think the way, way I'm gonna approach this is like, what are the phases for PVCs? Uh, who sets them? Who transitions between the phases? And and those are our entry points. And I think it's that simple. As then, um, uh, and then the final thing is like, okay, what will having these metrics do? Uh, how would it impact anything? Um, you know, whether it's people using them or how would it impact the cubelet or um, how could it impact your monitoring? We now have a lot of PVCs with a lot of metrics. I think that's the, sort of the final step. So just those three. And I think that would be a good start. And um, uh, for, for 
for us to uh, begin the work. I think uh, I'm not going to be here next week, so I'm not going to talk, to, um, bring this up at the, you know, if I get far with this, I'm not going to talk to about it at um, the design session. So if, if, if you're there or if anyone else wants to talk about it, feel free to if I got no documents or, or I can bring it up on Slack, that's fine. We can we can go that route um, in their uh, six scalability and, and the Kubernetes Slack channel. We can go that way as well. So depending on how, how far I get, we can um, coordinate how we can uh, yeah. some progress. So here. Brian, this sounds great. Um, I think we did a bunch of work to identify these metrics in Kubelet. I have it in one of the documents in our downstream uh, effort, I can uh, link you. I think that will save you some work. Okay. Um, to good. put this together, yeah. Okay. Uh, the only thing is, it is, I think Kubelet is missing the PVC uh, metrics and, and the network related metrics right now. The, the thing it has is end-to-end -end, uh, pod, the time Kubelet sees a pod and the time Kubelet is able to get it into running state on that node is what it sees. In between, the breakdown is not available, at least in the version that I was digging into. So I will link you that those metrics. I think that that should get us started. Yeah, I suspect, I, I, I'm pretty confident that's all we're going to get. Like, I, I just, I don't, I think we kind of caught my impression was we kind of caught them by surprise in that, in that their approach has been, and it makes total sense, like their approach has been to measure things end to end, measure, measure them in the aggregate, right? It makes a lot of sense because they want to measure, they want to measure and report and, and have, you know, SLIs and SLOs. Makes, makes sense, that's what the approach was. Where our approach is, is slightly different, it's that it's sort of two things. Like one of them is that we don't want to do the aggregation within the kubelet. We want to do it at the, the Prometheus or the dashboard level. So we we want we basically we're, we're, we're going to essentially pay the price of doing the uh, holding onto more data and then and doing the aggregation later. And then the second part is like our approach is, is we want to look a little bit further under the hood. We don't just want to see end to end time. That's not necessarily the most important thing. There's sort of more to the story. And it and it's just because of like, because we're an add-on, it, it sort of brings out this use case. It makes it more more obvious. Whereas if you're just looking at pods, it's sort of not, it's not how you, it's it's just not as obvious. So I think, yeah, I mean, I think that was kind of my impression as we caught them by surprise. So having these metrics as to like, you know, in our background to say, okay, Here's what the current approach is compared to. Here's what it could be. I, I think it'll. I think it'll kind of change minds a little bit, or maybe catch them off a little bit less surprised when when they look at the two and, and understand like, okay, this makes a lot of sense as to. Okay, here's why we didn't do this. Here's what we can. Here's why it makes sense to to now do this. Yeah, I agree with you. I think the another surprising bit for me was that. They were using the events to collect when what happened, even though the data is available in scheduler metrics or kubelet metrics. So I think that change in approach that you were talking about is first, it should happen in the test end-to-end -end, uh, results that, that they are using. So like skip, collecting things from events and use actual exported metrics from scheduler and kubelet. So that's first change. And then that will give us a list of things that are missing in the exported metrics, which, which you already have started and listed here. So that, yeah. um, that can, you know, fill up the entire story with, with, with missing data. Um, I wonder yeah. if you need a bullet point here to locate the metric collection that they have been doing and suggest changes to that as well. Oh yeah, so the with the cluster loader. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah.
Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay, it sounds like a plan. I think um, so. Uh, something I'll try and get to today and see if we can come up with. Um, yeah, we'll we'll come up with a plan. I, I mean, I'll decide by Friday, depending on how far I get. Whether we'll, you know, I, I will approach them with um, whatever it is that I come up with. So, okay, this sounds good. All right, I think that's all. Um, we covered a lot today. All right, anything else? Anything else you got away? No, I think we. we have made a lot of progress so happy with how things are going yeah all right i'm gonna i'm gonna look at all of these <laughs> okay i think we're good i'm going to share oh is lubo here oh, hey lubo hey sorry for bringing light no problem i did you i don't know if you caught some of the discussion i we had um we had we had a few things we wanted to ask you yeah go ahead uh, Let's see here. Yeah, so this, um, actually, LA, why don't you cover it since you have written the points here? So, what do, what do you want to, what do we need sure. here? So, um, <clears throat> so we, we already have set up the CI performance benchmarks repository, but that is a bare bones repository right now. I have seeded initial historic data to that repository. Um, what we would really need is a post submit job on that repository. So set up setting up pro, like Daniel was mentioning here. Um, yeah, that think, will, uh, yeah. So, sorry for interrupting you. I think a two seven seven three uh, is exactly that. Uh, uh, Daniel is trying to create the periodic job for it. Um. No, so my impression was that this does an initial data gathering, but so this will just push data to SIG, sorry, to CI benchmark uh, repository. After data is pushed, we need a post submit job on that repository to aggregate it into weekly folders and publish a chart for it. So if you look at line 818, it just does uh, initial result gathering for this. Uh, we need the same command with weekly report and weekly graph subcommands to actually do the graphing for it. Ah, now I get you. Um, do you want the second job or do you want to do it actually in this one? Um, Daniel was suggesting that we could do it as a post submit job. So once this job publishes data, a uh, second job, which is a post submit job, will you know aggregate it and publish it. That way, we can change the publishing logic without affecting the aggregation. Okay, um, makes sense. Yeah, that sounded like a good approach, but I'm not too opinionated. Anything that gets us there is okay by me. Okay, yeah, um, I would suggest um, just you know comment here if the if the periodic makes sense in a sense like how often do we want to run it, and <clears throat> um, we can merge this one and follow up with the with the post submit. I think that's. Um, yeah, that should not be a problem. Okay. Yeah, I think that CI repository, benchmark repository that needs raw setup and everything. I don't know if it is enabled right now. It's a bare bones repository with just admin access. So yeah, I think that would be really helpful. I'll, um, I've already summarized this here. Um, we can get this merged for okay. now. Perfect. Uh, I think Daniel is out of office, but um, I will catch him up after he's back. Sure. Okay, so that gets us covered here. And then, uh, Ryan, if you can go back to that summary issue or the summary description. Uh, Lugo, we have, I've taken a step at uh, creating a PR for owners in, in the perf report creator tool. 
have added Ryan and yourself as uh, as the reviewers and approvers, I think that will help us iterate faster on on this too. So if you are okay with it, uh, please take a look at this VR. Sure. Um, just a note: I don't have approval on this repository, so I will need to ask somebody else for approval. Sure. Yeah. But I think this will get us set up with with the things we need for now. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Ryan, I think I covered most of it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so this this post image up, so what um do we lay we're gonna wait? Is that what it sounded like? Yeah. We, okay. We need to um need Daniel to create and set up pro on the new repository. Yeah. All right, sounds good. All right, I think that's good. And yeah, the rest of these PRs we can look at. Uh, Lou, well, there's a bunch of them in here we have that are, oh, actually, you, some of these you can't approve. Um, this one you can, though. No? Um, yeah. I think just this one. I don't know if you're already on this one. Okay, you already tied you. Okay. Yeah, this was the other one we needed. All right, well, there's a bunch of them in here anyway. Like, they, I'm going to go through and review these and um, just making you aware of them as well. Thanks. I, I will try to have a look, but um, didn't have much time this week. Sure. Okay. All right, anything else? I think we're good for this meeting. Oh, okay. All right, everyone. Thank you. Okay, great. Thanks, guys. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.